Howdy TPD Dale fans and happy What Wednesday. Today has been a fantastic day here in Aggieland celebrating National Taco Day. And honoring this momentous day, I'm going to talk to you about a particular pathogen that can infect a particular fruit that you may or may not like on your tacos in some shape or form. Therefore, my question is, what is potty? Uh, Mandy? It's called Pody. Pody. Sorry, Pody. What is Pody? I'm delving into the Pody virus because it recently showed up here at the lab on a tomato. And if you're not um, interested in viruses or you don't like tomatoes on your tacos, but instead you like onions on your tacos, then you should definitely go back um, to a video that Tracy and I did back in June over onion bacterial diseases. Well, I hope you're still with me so you can enjoy this information over the Pody virus. Pody virus is actually the group name for the viruses that are in the family Podiviridae. It is an RNA virus and it's named after its type member, Potato Virus Y. It is the largest plant virus group and it makes up of 30% of all known plant viruses that cause significant loss in crops. Viruses that fall under the potivirus category include pepper model virus, plum pox potivirus, tobacco etch virus, and watermelon mosaic virus. This is a picture of the flexible potivirus virion. This is an image of a pinwheel inclusion body, which has been developed in a plant cell that has been infected by the soybean mosaic virus, which is a virus that falls under the potivirus category. Members of the potivirus can be vectored through aphids, mechanical means such as pruning, and it can also be a seed-borne issue. As you see here, there are many symptoms that can be associated with the potivirus, and some of these can mock other viruses that are not in the potivirus group. And also, these symptoms can be dependent on the host. These are some images of the potato virus Y on potato and tobacco plants. You can see symptoms of the tobacco edge virus here on the fruit of this tomato plant. When testing for potivirus, you can use either an ELISA-based test or you can use a serological strip test like the one that's shown here. And as you can see, the two red distinct bands indicate that this sample is highly positive for a virus in the potivirus group. There is no effective treatment for the potivirus at this time. However, you can be proactive by sanitizing your tools with either Lysol or rubbing alcohol, obtaining certified virus-free seeds, planting plants that have a resistance to the potivirus group, weeding in and around your growing area, applying pesticides that target aphids, and mulching with repellent materials in which aphids do not like, and or a combination of all of these best practices. I hope you enjoyed all the information on potivirus, I mean, potivirus, and also with all of the consumption of tacos today, you may have to befriend the potty later. <laughs> See you next week.